talk about Reed a little bit. Uh, we, a lot of times, we, as a produ uh, re producer and engineer, the old school, the way things were done, and the way things are done now. And is it important to, to, to pay attention and listen to the way things were, or does that really matter to you? Well, I mean, I think anybody in music got into music because they listened to a ton of music when they were kids. So I yeah. think people who paid attention are going to be informed by decisions people made, whether they knew how that happened or not. I mean, uh, you know, I, I can go buy that Killer Beatles book, it's killer. Um, and find out that they ran McCartney's bass through an Altec compressor, and, um, and Michael's probably got three of them. Uh, and, you know, but I just know that I want that bass sound, and that's something that inspired me, and I'm gonna try and go for that however it happened. Something Ben said earlier was interesting. Uh, when you get into a professional studio situation, you assume that people know what they're doing. Um, and, and that kind of takes some of the stress off of, of the creative process when you figure, you know, the engineer knows what the heck he's doing. Well. Um, you know, I, I think I know what I'm doing, or I like to pretend that I know what I'm doing, uh, and that kind of came from a lot of work and a lot of research, and it's kind of a voyage of discovery, whatever you do. You look at the old school techniques, and you look at some new ways, and you throw out the stuff that doesn't work for you, and you hang on to the stuff that you like, and that just kind of becomes your canon or your bag of tricks.